I know faith means something different to all of you. And maybe that's a good place to start. Mm -hmm. You know, Hoda, when you think about faith, your higher power, God, what do you think about? I feel like my path to faith has been evolving throughout my life. Each day, I have a, a little journal where I write, Dear God, thank you for this precious day. And I feel him all the time, more so now than I think I ever have before. He used to be someone I was mad at. Like when my dad died, I was mad at him. And then all of a sudden, in due time, here I sit with two kids and I think to myself, God's been present sitting here. I asked him and begged him on bended knee for Haley and Hope, and they came. I think a lot of people inherit their faith from their families, from their parents. I lost my dad when I was young. My mom remarried when I was about seven or eight to a guy who quickly told us, I'm not trying to replace your father. I wanted to be there. I love your mother. He led by example. I wanted to be like him so badly. He was such a great guy. Faith was at the epicenter of his life. So I started going to church just to kind of see what was there that this this dude liked so much. <laughs> and I really kind of discovered my own faith that way. I think my faith evolved, but it really did when those children come. Mm -hmm. You know, that's when it really, <laughs> I always remember my mother going, God, give me strength. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I, I, I hear those words, but it's, it's important to give them that, that foundation. My son Nick is one of the most faithful people I know. And Leela is looking at her faith. And Courtney now has had uh, baby Sky, and she and her husband are looking for a church. And, and that said, okay, I think, I think we did the right, mm -hmm. I, did, yeah. I think we did okay here. In our jobs, we're so lucky because we get to meet people mm -hmm. in all kinds of moments in their lives. Mm -hmm. Sometimes their hardest moment and sometimes their moment of triumph. Mm -hmm. But I see faith everywhere. <laughs> Where do you see God? The closest I have, I have been with God has, has been when I have struggled mightily. Mm -hmm. You were there when I, I got a call one morning before the show that my brother had slipped away. And, I, and we sort of knew it was coming, but I convinced myself mm -hmm. that, you know, maybe this wasn't going to be it. And as soon as the phone rang, I looked down and I, I saw the number. I knew who it was. And there I am in my dressing room. <laughs> And who comes in first? <laughs> yep. This one who wrote the book. <laughs> um, <laughs> and she comes in and, and we prayed. And it was in that moment precisely what I needed. I didn't know I needed it, mm -hmm. but I knew I had to pick myself up and I had to help lead my family down this dark path. I also think that faith and a belief in God is how we hold hands. <laughs> with whoever is in the next life. Mm -hmm. See, God is our connection. Yeah. My parents died six weeks apart, as you guys know. It was a very difficult time. My mother died um, suddenly. You can either be mad at God in that moment, or you can, for me, recognize there's no way I could have survived that without his strength. Yeah. You know, it's funny you say that, because I, I was, I think, blessed in a sense, too. I was by my dad's side when, mm -hmm. when he passed away. And, you know, my sister was like, God's going to heal daddy. God's going And he took that last breath, and I thought, God just healed Daddy. Mm. You know? Wow! This is this is where this is mm -hmm. this is the ultimate healing, and it, it's at those moments. You know, look, I, it's no secret. I went through hell last year, mm -hmm. and you guys were were God's gifts. <laughs> you know, mm. every one of you coming to see me and, and supporting Deborah and Leela, and the family, and and strangers just coming up. How are you? Mm -hmm. We were praying for you. And, and the, you know, sometimes you hear people say that, you know, eh, mm -hmm. they, they meant it. Oh, they did. Hoda, to me, you just exude such joy mm -hmm. and love. How do you hang on to hope? That's a beautiful question. I see it every day, and I seek it. I seek it. And I feel like God gives us that ability mm -hmm. to decide. And I, I feel like every day I make choices that I hope would be in his favor. The book is called Mostly What God Does. Yeah. And the rest of the sentences, Mostly What God Does is Love You. And the idea is if we could really feel God's love, not only would it transform us, but it would, it would be contagious. Mm -hmm. And we'd want to share that love yeah. everywhere. And I love having this conversation with you. And thank you for being so caring and tender with me as we head out on this journey together. Oh. It means so much to me. We wrote a beautiful book. But it's love no you. surprise. I love you guys. We love we you. Love you. We love you, SG. Love you.
Oh. Can you feel the love? <laughs> that was the easiest shoot we've ever done. Yeah. We just way, sat down really and started was. talking. It was, it was so fun, and it's like the kind of conversation we would have anywhere yeah, at yeah. any time. Minus the wine, we would have yeah. lost. Thanks <laughs> to you, I, I really do think that this is going to spark that conversation yeah. with people. You know, just I think people are looking for permission to have this conversation. And can I point out, if people are looking for the book, and this may be frustrating in this moment, you're clickety-clacking online and it says sold out. They're bringing more books in because I think uh, the way it was phrased was uh, it kind of broke the internet mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. something like that. But don't be discouraged if you're trying to get the book and you don't see it on Amazon. It will be available, so keep clickety-clacking. The, the neatest thing is that how it's deepened yes. friendships, how, you know, I've, I've been so scared, as you mm -hmm. guys know, mm -hmm. and how mm -hmm. you've been there. You've mm -hmm. been there for me, mm -hmm. everyone. And it's just, it's so beautiful. It's lovely. And mm -hmm. I'm just so glad a conversation mm -hmm. has started because I, I think, think we all want something deeper. Yes, a couple things people tell. need to know about the book. Non-denomination, like exactly. anybody yeah. can pick this up. Yeah. People are just thinking, oh, do you have to be a Christian? Yeah. You don't. Um, do you have to have faith? You don't. Mm -hmm. That's one mm -hmm. thing. So the book really is for everybody. But yeah. also it's a book that you don't have to read uh, from page one. Yeah. Uh, it's not, so through. it's not chapter book. No. It's a great book that to leave just by your bed that you can exactly. pick up at any time. It reads that way, yeah. too. Yeah. So it's a, a couple of good reasons it's to get it. It's a real it. comfort. Mm -hmm. and, cool. and, and everybody who knows you, and I think even our viewers, because your, your faith journey is something that you lead with. And so I think the authenticity of this mm -hmm. is what it was what Beautiful. people are telling right. Yeah. About. It's great to have this conversation too. The yeah. world's yeah. crazy right now. People want to be rooted in something. Yep. We want yeah. hope. Yeah. You know? Oh, and boy, that anyway. church was beautiful. Where was, are you guys? By the way, beautiful church. Yes. Uh, St. Thomas Church, Fifth Avenue. I got married there. Al and Deborah oh, were married yeah. there. Beautiful. Yeah. So cool. that's pretty cool. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, Love thank it. you guys. You can that's see that good. full thank conversation. You. I had a lot of jokes in there, but they didn't yeah, make the did. final cut. Actually, you can see it. Carson was like a stand up. He had one liners. It was hilarious. They were waiting for lightning to strike me in that beautiful place. It was like Caddyshack. On mostly what God does. You can go to today.com slash. I know. We need the uncut Carson version because it yeah. was hilarious. Um, by the way, not to brag, but Savannah's going to be my guest on Making Space. So we, it drops today. Uh, you'll find it this morning. So search the QR code. It's a beautiful conversation mm. wherever you get your podcast. There will be tears. Yeah. Hoda <laughs> and I were like, <laughs> <laughs> like, there's like the we microphones are like not. soaked yeah. Yeah. in tears. Uh, all right. In a good way. Yes. Yeah. 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 Mr. Roper. Well, speaking of the weather. Start making space on your bookshelf <laughs> yeah. Yeah. for exactly. mostly what content. Oh, there you go. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.